What's happening, Hardscapers? Back on a Monday on this project after a nice relaxing weekend. And we're getting started on the pond dig. I had someone come in here to help me and uh, they're not gonna be here. So it is just gonna be me on this, which will be interesting. This is what we're gonna be digging out here. It's an 11 by 16 pond, the medium aquascape pond kit. And basically we're gonna do a one foot shelf, a two foot shelf, and then a three foot shelf, each with about a foot and a half of uh, width to the shelf. And then the waterfall is going to be up there and the skimmer is gonna be down here. So let's get into this. Each of these wheelbarrows completely full is an eighth of a yard. So eight times six yards, that's what, 48 wheelbarrows up and down. We'll see how that goes. through and then where the lights are gonna be I did a quick line back for the small wire coming from the light and then where the morettes are gonna connect I made a little pit here for them to sit there's a delivery here I did not expect Let's see what it is all right we got an unexpected delivery we've got our wall block for the steps fire pit caps as well as step caps here. All right, day seven and eight on the vlog are gonna be combined here because once again, a tough, tough day. I started out actually documenting this pond day again, just to go over why I'm digging this out by hand. I had talked to this homeowners association group. group. It's like a protected area here and Asked them if I would be able to get a mini X along their path in the back there, this shared path, because I could definitely not get one in between the houses and down this slope. They verbally agreed with me, and then when it came time to it, they said, a week before the job, just give us written confirmation of what you need, and we'll approve it, and turns out they didn't. So I had already agreed on contract with this client, plus I, I would do it anyways. It's one job where I'm handing this soil. It's about six yards of... Uh fairly hard play and so day seven eight that's what I did day seven was just a dig day all day long and then I got a message from my gas guy saying that he wanted to come hook that up for me but he was gonna be late he said 7 p.m. he didn't get there till 8 p.m. it was dark I was holding the light for him but we got the gas hooked up for that fire pit I've never had a subcontractor come out that late, and I, I also want to be there when my subcontractors show up. I don't want to leave that on my clients, so uh, that was a late day for me. I didn't get home pro probably till like 10 p.m. that night. Woke up bright and early to get started once again on that pond dig, and I just I stopped. I completely stopped uh, taking a time lapse of that because I was getting frustrated with that hard clay. I, can't believe I'm hand digging this thing out, but it is what it is.
tops are cut in. I just gotta fit them together nicely here. Our lighting's all wired, so that's gonna go underneath four sides of the cap. And uh, this is looking good. Hey. 